Firefighter by Angela Royston. Genre. Literary nonfiction tells about a true event or series of events like a story. It is busy at the fire station, even when there is no fire. Liz is checking the hoses. She wants to make sure they screw tightly to the truck. Dan is polishing the fire truck wheels. Anthony is upstairs in the kitchen looking for a snack. He is always hungry. Suddenly, a loud noise makes him jump. Ring, ring, ring. It is the fire alarm. Anthony slides down the pole. Thud, he lands hard. But the thick rubber pad on the ground cushions his feet. Liz jumps into her boots and pulls up her fireproof pants. She checks the computer. It shows the fire is at 7 Oak Lane. In the truck, Liz grabs the walkie-talkie. Chief Miller, we're on our way. Right, says the fire chief. He has gone ahead in a special fast car. I'll meet you there. Liz starts the engine as the firefighters jump in. She flips on the sirens and lights and drives out of the firehouse. The truck speeds toward the fire. Cars and buses stop and wait when they hear the siren coming. The fire chief calls Liz. I'm at the fire scene. It's an old house that's, that's been empty for years, but some, someone saw a young boy playing on the porch this morning. He might be inside the house. Tell Dan and Anthony to get there Air tanks ready. Okay, Chief, says Liz. I can see the smoke from here. We'll be there in two minutes. Liz turns the corner into Oak Lane. Flames cover the top of the house. The fire is spreading quickly. There's no time to lose. Liz hooks a hose from the truck to the nearest fire hydrant. A pump on the truck pulls water from the hydrant to another hose. Liz and another firefighter point the hose at the flames. Ready? calls Liz. Whoosh! They hold on tight as the water shoots out. It comes out of a fire hose hard enough to knock a person down. Anthony and Dan are ready to search the burning building. They have put on their air tanks and face masks. Each tank holds 40 minutes of air. That's not much time. The boy's name is Luke, the chief tells them. Right, says Anthony. He grabs a hose. Let's put the wet stuff on the red stuff, says Dan. Dan and Anthony run to the back of the house. The fire is not as bad here. Dan feels the back door. If it is hot... Flames could leap out. It's cold, says Dan. They step inside. Thick black smoke is everywhere. Anthony shines his flashlight around. Look! Look! He calls. No one answers. I can hear fire upstairs, says Dan. The fire has damaged the staircase. It could fall down at any time. They climb up the stairs very slowly. Outside, the outriggers are set down on the ground. Outriggers are like legs. They keep the truck steady as the ladder is raised. The ladder goes up like a telescope. To the top of the house, a hose runs up the sides. The firefighter on the ladder shoots water down on the fire. The flames crackle and hiss. They get smaller. Then suddenly, jump even higher. Inside the house, the fire rages. It is hot enough to melt glass. Anthony sprays water on the flames. Fire has made the house weak. It could come down any second, says Dan. We must find Luke. 
Boom! A beam crashes down near them, but their helmets protect their heads. Crash! Quick, says Anthony. We're running out of time. They come to another door, but it it will not open. Dan swings his axe at the door. Once, twice, three times, it's jammed. Shouts Dan. The roar of the fire is so loud they can hardly hear. We'll have to use the electric saw. Anthony switches on the saw. Roar. He cuts a hole in the door, big enough to climb through. Look, calls Dan. Look, but the room is empty. Suddenly, the chief calls. Get out now! The roof is coming down. Dan and Anthony race downstairs. They get out just as the roof falls in. We didn't find Luke, yells Dan. He's okay, says the chief. We just found him up the block. Woof, says Dan. Good news. Hours later, the flames are out. Anthony sprays water on the parts still glowing red. He is tired and dirty and very hungry. Liz winds the hoses back onto the truck. Finally, she rests. She is tired too. Back at the station, Anthony sits down to eat. At last, he says. Suddenly, a loud noise makes him jump. Dinner will have to wait. Laughs Dan. Ring, ring, ring. Practice E D I T H. Exit drills in the home. Do you know what to do if a fire starts in your home? Don't wait until it happens. Sit down with your family now. Talk about how you would get out of the house. Plan at least two ways out of every room. Decide where you will all meet once you get outside. A fire drill now could save lives later. For watching. If you like my video, please click like. If you have any stories you would like me to add to my channel, please leave a comment below. Please subscribe to my channel.